So I'm making this video today because if I don't make it sooner or later, I know I'll regret it. So today is the 12th of September and um, today I'll be talking about something very weird but cool that happened. It's a bit of a hard topic to talk about, I guess, a little bit strange but crazy as well. So um, wait, before I like get into the topic, I just want to say I was extremely tired when this happened. It was like, just I was extremely tired, upset. So it was a midnight of 7th of September 2021. So I was thinking about service so much, like I ended up sleeping around 4am, maybe 5 or I don't know, maybe earlier than that. So um, once I finished uh, tweeting stuff, so I was on Twitter that night, I just, I was laying there, so I felt something just go like this on my arm. And I could have sworn maybe it was a spirit or something. Or maybe it was just me overthinking or like the hair on my arm just, just twitching. But I could have sworn that was her. And it kind of reminded me of the time when they went, the girls went ghost hunting and something went like that on Cheryl's arm. It was basically like that. But I could have sworn it was something. Just a little like that. Or just a littlest touch. So um, anyway. Around 10 or 15 minutes later, I was laying there well, at my house, not this house. But I was just laying there. And it was encumbered in darkness, and my pillow was there, bedside table was there, and around here, I just saw some black shadow. It was, it was, it was kind of like a puff of smoke, but not really smoke. It was just like, like poof. It just went like that, and it was so weird. And I, I was half asleep when I saw it. Maybe it was my eyes, but I don't know. And I woke up, and I was like, what? It was very crazy. Maybe it wasn't her spirit. But I want to believe that because I just felt it. At the time, I was like thinking about it so much. So I've done tons of research this past week. And um Yeah, I've done a lot of research and apparently the spirit can wander around us still even the even if the person's is gone so maybe it was just that it was so crazy and sad but it might happen again i don't know i'm seeing a lot of you know messages sent out to me that make a lot of sense So that was probably one of the emotional nights I've never I've ever had, ever. So yeah, that's all I really wanted to say. So, yeah, the Girls Aloud fandom is probably one of the best fandoms I've ever been in. An actual fandom that acts like a family. Not blood related obviously, but treats me like a family. Because in all the other past fandoms I was in, I was like, just getting left out everywhere. I was just getting like shouted at, bullied even. So with this Girls Aloud fandom, it's like the, one of the best fandoms I've ever been in. Like, we're a team. Like, remember how we got servicing up to number one? That was amazing. And how much money... A service fan page has raised that's amazing as well it's like we're a team a family teamwork i love being in the girls allowed fandom it's, I, I just wish i could have joined it sooner it's kind of sad but i'm glad i did because you know the girls saved my life in a way one of the best fandoms. So, about the spirit thing. 
She's always going to be with us. Like, always. Her body might not be here, but her mind, spirit and heart and soul always will be. I mean, she might even be in this room right now. And it, I, I actually thought it was her so much, I ended up putting my hand out and falling asleep like that. Just seeing if she, her spirit would like hold my hand or something. Because that's how real it felt, just like a little, just like this. So, I, I really wish it was. I believe that it is. But I'm feeling a little bit, like, sceptical about it. Hmm. So this is a little something that I put together today. This. It is so nice. And she's so lovely. You see that filter there? That's me and her. That picture was taken right here, actually. And I also have this. That was a tweet I sent her today, actually. And that tweet, she, she put that on the 18th of March, 2021. That's the book release date, I think. Uh, it's weird, like, having it in my hand. Normally, I would see it on the screen. So, yeah, I think I'm going to wrap this video up. I want to believe that was her. I have to believe that because it's it can't be a coincidence. It can't be. It has to be real. But I don't want to kid myself. Maybe I was extremely tired that night. I don't know. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, I suppose.